President Trump's Supreme Court nominee is facing more questions at his nomination hearing. Can a sitting president be required to respond to a subpoena? I can't give you an answer on that hypothetical question. Democrats probed to Judge Brett Kavanaugh about his views on presidential power, but Kavanaugh pointed out that he would not defer to President Trump just because he is Mr. Trump's nominee. Republicans have praised Judge Kavanaugh's credentials, saying he is unquestionably qualified. The GOP hopes to get a full Senate vote by the end of the month. Coming up, one doctor is changing the way we look at the Mona Lisa. We explain why. Plus, food, fun, and rides. They're some of the staples of the state fair. We'll tell you about some of the new additions this year. And a team goes to great lengths to help a woman struggling to cross the street. The story behind his selfless act. Do you have a news tip? Submit it to report it on krqe.com or the KRQE News app. Some people consider it the most beautiful painting in the world, but could the Mona Lisa be hiding a disease in plain sight? As Doug Meehan reports, one doctor thinks so. Was she sick? Uh, she was. Dr. Mandeep Mara knows a thing or two about diagnosing sick people. He's the medical director for the Heart and Vascular Center at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. And in his opinion, Lisa Garadini, a.k.a. Mona Lisa, was not well when she first sat for this portrait back in 1503. If you notice carefully, she has absolutely no eyebrows. Dr. Mera points to many features in da Vinci's painting that are critical to his diagnosis. In addition to the loss of eyebrows, the doctor reveals a receding hairline, a lesion near her left eye, a puffy neck, and swollen hands, all suggesting to the doctor of a systemic physical ailment. The diagnosis that um, I believe is operative here is uh, an underactive thyroid gland, 
or hypothyroidism. To further back his hypothesis, Dr. Mera suggests these abnormalities were not simple missteps or mistakes by the artist. That's the thing about the Mona Lisa is that Leonardo da Vinci was um, an uncanny uh, artist who depicted accuracy like no one else. He was an anatomist. What makes this analysis of the Mona Lisa different than the ones in the past is that this doctor also took in consideration the circumstances leading up to this painting. He examined lifestyles, dietary patterns, as well as other painted portraits of the time period that depicted similar signs of a hidden disease. Indeed, all of those corroborate the diagnosis in a very nice uh, functional way. Dr. Mera first began his examination of Lisa for fun, but now, reflecting on the bigger picture, he believes da Vinci is actually sending a hidden message to today's hurried world of medicine. Perhaps uh, taking a step back and looking at uh, patients and creating diagnosis in a much more comprehensive way and a more collective way is the uh, goal that I hope uh, to achieve with this. That was Doug Meehan reporting. The State Fair begins tomorrow and this year two big rides will make their debut, including the largest and tallest slide in the country. Also, a new Alpine ski lift ride guaranteed to provide some great views. A sky ride that takes you, it's brand new, and it takes you around the entire campus of, a, of the full length of the street, and you get the great views of the Sandias, the city, the fairgrounds, and it's just a nice, comfortable way to get around the fair. It's beautiful. Don't forget the food. A unique food contest at noon tomorrow will reveal new treats on Vendor Row. For more information, head to krqe.com. An Albuquerque teen continues to be praised for helping a blind woman get back on her feet after she had fallen on the street. Anna Alred was driving near Ventana Ranch in Rainbow on Sunday afternoon when all of a sudden there was a holdup. She soon learned why. A young man got out of his car and started helping a blind woman across the street after she had fallen. News 13 found out that teen is 11th grader Nathan Nguyen who was heading to work at the Dion's in the North Valley. Wynn says he was simply braced to do the right thing. The big thing I want to like tell everybody is that like, just be kind. Like that's, that's how like our society is just going to keep growing and keep getting better. Many people have already reached out to Allred, hoping to reward Nguyen with a gift. After the break, a woman finds a surprise in her living room. How officials think a big snake ended up in her apartment. Also, a lion gets a little too close for comfort as tourists stop by its habitat. If you see something in this newscast you want to know more about, check out always on krqe.com.
If you have Honey Smack cereal in your pantry, throw it out. That's the warning from the FDA. A salmonella outbreak linked to the cereal has sickened 30 more people. That makes 130 cases in 36 states since that outbreak was announced earlier this summer. The FDA ordered Honey Smacks to be removed from store shelves back in June, but they warned that some locations are still selling it. It is probably one of the last things you'd expect slithering across your floor, a seven-foot snake. That's what happened to one woman in Milwaukee who found a boa constrictor hiding in her living room. Animal control assumes it was someone's pet that got loose. It would need six inches. So if it came from the outside, I'm not sure if it was your laundry vent hole or how he got in. They are still trying to find the rightful owner. Ugh.